Okay, everybody's right to go? Yep. I'm here with Ministers Macklin and Shorten and with Parliamentary Secretary Senator McLucas and we're very pleased to be here at Noah's Ark and a big thank you to everyone who said hello to us this morning. We're actually in Jenny Macklin's electorate so it's great to be here. And this is a very exciting day and we're joined by some very excited people. Uh, today we are launching this Productivity Commission report on disability care and support. So it is an exciting day. I'd like to thank, uh, at the start, uh, the people who have contributed to this report, most particularly John Walsh, who has worked so hard on the report. Thank you very much, John. And to the people with disabilities themselves and their families and carers that contributed to this report through their submissions, a very big thank you to them. Around a thousand submissions were received, so there was a great deal of interest as the Productivity Commission went about its work. And what the Productivity Commission was asked to do was to look at the area of support and services for people with disability. And we did that for three reasons. First, we were very concerned about the circumstances of people who are getting older themselves but who are the principal carers of a child with a disability. We meet uh, in the community right around the country, so many families in those circumstances, not knowing who will care for their son or their daughter when they become too old to do it themselves. We were also concerned about individuals with disabilities who weren't able to get the services they need. And certainly around the country we've met with people who have been in that position. And third, of course, this report was motivated by our concern about the circumstances of all Australians. Because depending on life's chances, any one of us could meet with an accident have an illness which resulted in a long-lasting disability, or any one of us could have a family member, a new child born, a child, a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, someone in our family, someone amongst our friends who has a lifetime disability. So this is a report of importance to every Australian. So we asked the Productivity Commission to look at what we can do better. And the Productivity Commission came back and found that the current system is unfair, it's underfunded and it's fragmented. And they certainly very powerfully make the case that at the moment access to services is a very cruel lottery. It depends where you live, it depends on the kind of disability you have and it depends how you got that disability. A very cruel lottery with too many Australians missing out on the basic services that they need. So the Productivity Commission has recommended that the nation move to a new model of funding disability, a national disability insurance scheme. It's sort of the same concept as Medicare. Medicare is the way in which, as a nation, we all come together and insure ourselves and each other against the risk of being unwell. And of course, Medicare is a great system to make sure people get the services that they need. So looking at that kind of insurance model, the Productivity Commission has come back and said we should work towards a national disability insurance scheme and a new way of dealing with people who get catastrophic injuries in circumstances where they cannot get compensation through a workers' compensation arrangement or a transport accident arrangement. Today I'm in a position to say the government shares the vision of the Productivity Commission. We share the vision that our nation needs a national disability insurance scheme. Of course we realise that to get to a stage where the nation has a national disability insurance scheme will be a long journey. First and foremost, the Productivity Commission itself has said that implementation would take around seven years. Then, of course, everything we do as a government has to be fiscally sustainable. As a nation, we've always got to live within our means. And as a nation, if we start on a new system, we've got to make sure it can be funded and it can work over time. And third, the Productivity Commission report uh, does show us that a lot of work needs to be done 
to set up for any national disability insurance scheme. A lot of fundamentals need to be worked through, a lot of details need to be worked through to get this right. So today I'm in a position to announce that we're going to make a start. We're going to make a start on doing the things that are necessary to take us towards a future that would have a national disability insurance scheme. So today I can announce first and foremost that I will go to the next meeting of the Council of Australian Governments that will be held at the end of next week and propose a select council where governments come together to work together on this important reform. We've got to remember, of course, that it's state governments now that are the primary funders and drivers of services. Uh, so, for, uh, primary uh, drivers of services, we make money available, but it's state governments who are there on the ground providing services. So, this does need to be a shared effort and collaborative work, and that's why I'm proposing a COAG Select Council, and we'll take that to COAG in just over a week's time. Second, we will create an advisory committee. It will be overseen by Jeff Harmer, who is a distinguished public servant. We will also appoint to that advisory committee Rhonda Galbally, who is with us today and is well known for her advocacy and work in the disability area. And we will also appoint to that committee Bruce Bonahady, who is also very well known for his expertise and work in this area. And then we will work with state governments for the further appointments. And we will also make $10 million available for the foundation work that needs to be done, the technical work that needs to be done. This builds on the $7.6 billion national disability agreement in which we embedded a reform agenda. But new resources are needed for the technical work to support the things we need to do which would enable us in the future to look towards a national disability insurance scheme. Now I'm not pretending any of that work is glamorous, it's not glamorous, but it is the technical work that needs to be done. Finally, let me conclude by saying why I believe today is an exciting day and this is an important reform. As a Labor leader, as a Labor government, we are informed by our Labor values. And if you were going to summarise them, they're about giving people the opportunity to get ahead, but they're also about making sure no one gets left behind. So as we go about reforming important areas, disability, ageing, health, education, we're always informed by those values of giving people the opportunities they need to get ahead, but making sure people don't get left behind. And I think it's a, an appropriate kind of fairness to say if someone met with a dreadful moment in their life, an accident, an illness, the birth of a child with a disability, that meeting with that moment, that chance in life, shouldn't cost them the ability to have a decent life. We don't want people left behind. And that's why I'm so enthusiastic to see us work towards a better way of looking after Australians with disabilities. I'll turn now to Minister Macklin for some comments and then to Minister Shorten.